Today's video is going to show you how to add Divi layouts into your WordPress block editor. So you don't actually have to use the Divi visual builder to include Divi elements on your pages. So I've got this page here. It's just a simple page. It has a slider on it. I've created a, basically I've got a page with this on there and it's a, uh, just a Divi page. I can enable a visual builder and edit it. However, what I want to do is create a page in the WordPress block editor, the Gutenberg block editor, and insert this on there. And also I can create new layouts and all sorts of things using this uh, this little block that comes with Divi. So I'm gonna go here up to new and go to page. So I can create a new page for the website. I'm use my default editor. I'm gonna call this Divi layout example. I'm gonna say, see below this block from Divi. And I'm gonna hit enter. So now I'm gonna insert my block. I'm gonna the plus symbol here and I type in Divi and I have a Divi layout. So I click this icon here and I can build a new layout or load from the library. So when I go load from the library, I can choose a, a layout from here. It seems to be mostly page layouts at this stage, uh, but I can choose any of these layouts here, my saved layouts, I can also go to my existing pages and build from there. So I could actually create something, say on a separate page, save it as a layout and uh, add it in. So the way that works is I'll go here to my slider test page. And now I have the slider added onto my page and I can still type more from there and I'm gonna preview so we can have a look and see how it looks. So if I scroll down, here is our slideshow. We've got this block here. So this is the block editor with a Divi module inside of it, which is pretty cool. But if I just want to shut that down, what I can do is go back into this block, which uh, can be a bit difficult to select. So I'm gonna use this drop down here. Oh, Divi layout. And I can edit the layout. I can go in here, open up the Divi editor, or Divi page builder, and actually edit this layout if I want to. Or if I want to, I can actually hit this eraser button. I can change change the layout. I'm just gonna hit the eraser button altogether, and I'm gonna build a whole new layout. And I'm gonna start from scratch, or I can insert. So even if I want to, I can insert full width row, uh, and then even go to add and add from the library. I've got a global text module test, blah 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 blah. <laughs> I can add that in there. I can also go ahead and take this whole section. Now keep in mind, I've been, this is this website has been set up with the theme builder. So things are a bit cropped in and targeted in, but I'm gonna make the background color a bit lighter, just like a light green color there. I'm gonna add in a whole other section. Full width, this time I'm gonna choose, let's say a circle counter. So we've got our circle counter here. I've created a layout. So essentially you can go in and build like you normally would in the Divi Builder. Hit X, save and exit. And now you have these modules on the page. And what the cool thing is, this is a global module that I've saved elsewhere and imported. So you can also import individual things by simply creating a new layout and importing uh, a saved module or row. Uh, otherwise, it tends to focus primarily on full page layouts. But that means if I want to add another one, here's another, and I add another Divi layout in here, I can actually choose one of the pre-made layouts that Divi actually supplies like this here. So maybe I choose uh, maybe this page, use this layout and import it. Our layout has now appeared there. So once again, I can publish this page. This is the test site, so I don't have to be too concerned about what I publish. View the page. And we've got our original layout there. And then another layout, which is the full layout supplied by Divi that comes with the Divi theme, inserted into the WordPress block editor. So that is, that's a pretty cool feature. I go back in, edit this page at any time and reorganize as I normally would with the block editor. So I just wanted to show you guys that feature. If sometimes it's just better to use the block editor and I can just reorganize and move things around, 
and that way you can actually have a bit of a hybrid of the two because it doesn't always work that well trying to just sometimes the block editor is quicker to open easy to use and you just want to be able to pop small divvy elements in there quite easily but um yeah, that can be very handy if you've got global elements that you want to edit elsewhere and also have appear on that page. So, yeah, that's it. That's the video for today, guys. Just wanted to show you a very nifty little uh, feature that Divi has uh, popped in there. It's been there for a little while now, but just wanted to show you guys. It's uh, very handy. But, uh, yeah, if you like the video, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon and have a great day.